Hey, very good day, everyone. Uh, so this is the second part of uh, you know how I got cheated uh, for two lakhs by a builder and how I got my uh, money back. So here in this part, uh, I'm going to talk about what all I tried uh, before giving up. Uh, almost to a point where I I had to give up. So that's what I'm going to talk about uh, in this particular uh, uh, video. And the last one, if you had missed, you know I spoke about. Uh, how we got cheated, uh, you know the clause, you know the the lies that they sold me, due to which we lost that uh, two lakhs uh, to begin with, and what all we did to a point where we almost have to give up. I'm going to talk here. Why I'm telling this, even though it did not work for me, is most of this uh, could help you if you're in the same situation. I would say almost 70 to 80 percent of the builders uh, will be able to give you a refund if if you're going to do whatever I'm I'm going to tell you now, hopefully. But again, in my case, these guys were really tough to deal with. Uh, they were really not ready to give up. Uh, they were ready to fight. Okay, till the end. Uh, so that's why uh, I'm I'm giving the second part to you uh, so that you could try these. If it does not work, then I'm going to talk about uh, you know how I got my money back. Really going the extra mile uh, on part three. So that's that's going to be the next video. So here, uh, let me move on. So here, first, you know, extremely important is. to establish uh, contact uh, initially you know when i started off this journey uh, i only had the sales reps uh, contact with me uh, again i gave him a name uh, rakesh here so I, i just had his contact so he was the person who would always email me you know call me asking for uh, the signed copy of the agreement and the balance payment so uh, continuous follow ups from uh, rakesh Uh, he is amazing sales person again he does his follow up well but uh, due to several reasons as i mentioned in uh, part 1 we were not able to uh, move on with this uh, uh, purchase so i i only had rakesh contact at that point i was continuously following up with rakesh then came rajesh who was part of the crm team the customer relationship management team who handles external communication uh, with customers so now i have rajesh contact and i would i would keep calling both these guys keep emailing both these guys uh, so that you know uh, i'm i'm able to get some breakthrough and get my money back from the beginning it did not really uh, they they were not really positive uh, you know they were kind of uh, really not giving you any hints if they are going to pay or not you know that is a problem so, but i constantly used to follow they say no we have asked for this my vp is not available you now these guys are out and i need to send a mail to uh, a different country so they give you all stories and out of all this uh, the other guy who actually sold me the lie was the vp sales and marketing at that time was manoj i gave him a name as manoj he had quit already so that was completely shady for me you know uh, vp quitting and then i did not have the new contact then we be replacing him i did not have the contact so i was just dealing with the sales person or crm team person who have no role they don't have any decision making authority so it's always always you know important that you make contact or establish contact with the decision making authority in this case i hoped it was the uh, vp sales and marketing and uh, fortunately i got the contact of stalin i got his phone number i called him a couple of times and on one call i really got irritated i said no i'm going to come to your office let's uh, you know meet face to face and discuss about this and then uh, you know i uh, walked into their office i'll tell about different ways you know in a meanwhile uh, so that's how i got uh, stalin's uh, information and one more thing i did is you know i i started uh, contacting all of their higher ups Uh, from LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an extremely good tool. See, I'm taking Casa Grande just for example. These guys have nothing to do with uh, whatever is happening here. Uh, so usually, what you do is to make sure that uh, you know you search for the uh, builder's name. If they are you know bigger ones, definitely they're going to have a company listed in uh, LinkedIn. So I have Casa Grande here. Go to the People's tab, and from here you will see uh, all the employees of uh, that particular company. it doesn't matter who you're going to contact but don't contact somebody junior you know uh, or hr or any other department don't contact you know i would say you know general manager is a good option you could contact them head of strategy and system even though they may not help you but they may be able to give you contact of the decision maker so that's really important or a senior uh, manager whatever assistant manager i would really think but he is in a crm team probably could be of help so you would need to contact them for example i'm going to take uh, you know this particular person if if i would want to uh contact him so go to his account uh, there are a couple of options here you know one uh, if they have a message open you know you could uh, directly go in okay in this case it's opening my uh, sales navigator 
mostly you know free accounts would not have this direct message option so the only other option is to connect with them otherwise you cannot send them a message just don't connect because they don't know who you are why you are even uh, uh, you know asking for a connect always add a note so here you have 300 characters which can make a difference here so you write to them hey you know i bought a, a, a flat from you guys i booked a flat from you guys uh, but i am in a kind of a situation it would be really helpful if you can let me know who would be the right person to contact you know you're not putting them in a spot asking them to help you with whatever you want but then you're asking for a contact you know some would give you they would say you know don't tell them that i gave it to you but then this is the right contact so that may happen okay so linkedin is an ex is an excellent tool and again with linkedin you have uh, you know uh, uh, some proof with you some record with you that you did contact them uh, if at all you know they give you some kind of information again that goes on record so that's extremely important you use linkedin in my case i use linkedin i try to contact uh, right from the ceo to everyone but then one guy from the marketing team was sitting in uh, i think uh, mumbai said that hari you know your account got processed now we going to make a refund for you that is kind of a proof i used uh, you know for a very long time uh, for all the other things that i did okay so it's really important uh, that you get these kind of proofs uh, with you and linkedin is an excellent uh, tool you know when it comes to uh, you know getting the right contacts okay and establishing uh, contacts with the right person okay so these are all the different ways i tried email is extremely important just phone calls is not going to work whatsapp may work but emails are extremely important because it leaves a communication trail it, it shows them that you had communicated them uh, even if you go for a legal uh, battle this is going to uh, show uh, that you try to contact them what information you passed on if they are not responded to you it's extremely important that you communicate through email even if you get on a call you're talking to them you you uh, you you know finally you agree upon something put it on email hey you know as per our discussion i i understand that you're going to keep me updated by next monday uh, you know just put it on a email that needs to be there just a phone call is not going to help if they did not tell you whatever you mentioned in the email they're going to contradict that they're going to send you an email hey are we never spoke up at all this i don't know why you send me this email if they have not sent it what you have told is actually valid so put it on an email it's extremely important you have this record with you next calls you know frequent follow up <laughs> you know this is what you know the other side should be doing you know during sales process they would do but then now you are behind them so uh, calls are extremely important establish a, a good relationship with them uh see if you can handle it friendly with them uh, take them on your side so constant follow up is extremely important and timely follow up is important because if you are not serious let's say you say hey you know okay let me check with you next monday and you don't call them next monday probably you call them like two weeks later they don't take you serious so be very uh, you know constant with your uh, follow ups and if at all needed you definitely need to walk into their office i did walk in i really don't know like three four times i walked in uh but again nothing happened the last time uh, i walked in uh, that was the time i said uh, you know this is uh, really not happening so uh, when you know uh, when i really thought uh, that i have left with uh, no options okay so that was the last time i walked into their office and uh, the new vp stalin he said hurry you know let's go out for a walk i'm going to i'm going to talk to you outside records i said fine let's go and stalin said hurry uh, this company is not going to process refund for you i'm i'm for sure i know about these guys they will never process refund for anybody you know they have a huge legal team you can try any ways you want just that one signature what you have put is enough for this company to uh, you know to deny you of whatever you, uh, you know uh, that you are really eligible for right so uh, stalin said it's not possible and i told him see stalin what happens if i go on and if i start talking to people if i you know get a bad name for you and this guy said no, i am i am from another uh, you know builder who was pulled on uh, you know with bad marketing on multiple friends and we know how to deal with it you know you cannot even try with us so he was he was pretty much blocking all my options and i was left cornered you know i had no other option so i told stalin okay stalin in that case you know i need to uh, make up uh, uh, and then stalin what what stalin told me is uh, he asked me to send in a, a registered post try sending in a registered post because he said emails are not going to be valid Uh, proof of communication when i move legally so he needs a registered post sent in i did spend all the time money and send all the register uh, collected all the information and send the registered post there was no response to it the next step was to you know send in a legal notice before that the confusion was if we need to move on with the police complaint or a legal notice 
and i did you know go to their office uh, and ask them you know i need the details of your uh, company uh, so because i'm going to file a police complaint i thought at least that will break them you know me telling that i'm going to file a police complaint but then me and my wife walked into this police station uh, it was not a fun experience okay and they were trying to uh, make us run around they said okay you need to get this you need to get that come back tomorrow i said okay this is not something i can really do and my wife is involved and i really cannot make a room uh, here and there so i really did not want to take that option so the next option was to send in a legal notice through a lawyer so we hired a lawyer he, you know he sent the legal notice for us i think it costed about 3000 3500 rupees for you know to draft the legal notice and then send it um, and we waited almost for a month okay and then we knew and the lawyer said hari i really don't know they they are not even responding to a legal notice so uh, i think we are running out of options uh, i don't know what i'm going to do now so the, the lawyer simply had to uh, let, let us go or uh, just accept that these guys may not pay uh, what all we didn't do uh, again if you would want to try you can try the lawyer said you know the next logical step would be to approach the consumer court because they have not rendered any service or product so we can ask for a, a refund through the consumer court it's a long process you know either i can approach the consumer court directly or i can have a lawyer approach the consumer court uh, on my behalf that's another that's an option or i can go to rera i can only choose one among these two because again rera there's a uh, uh, you know a field that says that you know this is not pending with any other uh, uh, forum so which means i can go only with rera uh, rera again is a long process i need to go there physically submit an application a physical application make a 5000 rupee uh fee for it it's a long process right nothing is uh, online you need to go there physically i said okay this is again something i really cannot do okay so this this these are the steps i did follow i thought this, this is right for me to do uh you know given the options and given that i don't have any other options these are the only uh, things that i did and after this you know it was the end uh, almost we gave up we said i uh, you know we cannot do anything here uh, we are helpless you know legally moving they have a huge team is what uh, stalin says they can take us on legally because for me you know it's out of my work it's out of my family but then if it's a legal team it's part of their work right they get paid for it i don't get paid for uh, running behind these guys so legally you know moving i really did not want to do that and again going to the uh, police station really did not give me any confidence just with the initial interaction i had with those uh, uh, you know police officers in the uh, station so i dropped both those options uh, probably you know any of this could help you uh, just try any of these options uh, that i have uh, taken here if it worked just let me know but it did not work for me so i'm going to talk about you know uh, which option worked for me uh, soon after this uh, uh, you know video so there's going to be another part on which i'm going to talk about uh, which option worked for me so stay tuned uh, if you are in the situation that i was in uh you know just stay strong uh, i hope i hope you get your money back okay stay positive so thanks for listening uh, wait for my next video have a good one there and bye